42, the answer to life the universe and everything. We're still here, we're still going, you're still watching. If you tapped on this video right away, then give it a like so that we know you want more. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 dumbest tweets, part 42. Thank you as well so much to our sponsor for this video, Quid. Now Quid is the best app for people who love to collect. Open packs to get stickers, gifts, cards and 3D figures for absolutely free on your phone. These are all absolutely exclusive too. And cover every single one of your favourite TV shows and games. They've got everything from Rick and Morty to Game of Thrones, from Five Nights at Freddy's to Fallout. They have it all. You can even drag these stickers and the gifts into iMessage and then send them over to your friends. Now if you prefer your collectibles as physical, then you can also get pops, figures and trading cards too. Some of the packs are extremely rare to find on Quid, so you'll want to trade with your friends to get the best collection. And I think the best news of all is that the collection on Quid is growing every single day. Even today, Quid is adding even more of your favourite collectibles, so I think you should get started right now. You can start by clicking on the link in the description box below. And once again, thank you so much to Quid for making this whole video possible. Starting off at number 10 now, we're asking, seriously, why the f*** did Albert Einstein have to invent gravity? I'd love to be able to just float around all day. Yeah, thanks Einstein, before he came along. That's all humans did. Yeah, we just float to school, to work. You want to take a trip? Just go and float over the ocean. And then Einstein came along with his whole gravity thing and ruined all of the fun. I'm glad we got to start this video off with one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. All right, moving on to number nine now. We have a personal favorite of mine. Since when are chickens birds too? Amazing. This person sounds like they've had their entire world turned upside down by the realization that chickens are birds too. I also love how they had to put f at the end. Kind of makes it sound like they have to rethink some things about their life. Everything was going well until chickens were birds too. All right, moving on to number eight now. We are asking, why do they have paintings of the Berlin Wall in every Chinese restaurant? Hashtag Berlin. Hashtag China. Hashtag confused. Hashtag ethnic food. If you are also hashtag confused by this, they are actually talking about the Great Wall of China. It's one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world and looks very different to the Berlin Wall, I think. Or maybe this girl visits some very unique Chinese restaurants. Maybe I'm the dumb one at this point. I'm not even sure. At number seven now, we want to know. If Stephen Hawking is from Britain, why doesn't he have a British accent? <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know who Stephen Hawking is, this is him. It is thought that the very early universe underwent a period of accelerating or inflationary expansion. As you can clearly tell, that's not actually him speaking, is it? It's a synthesized voice that reads out whatever he wants, kind of like a robot. A robot is programmed. It doesn't pick up accents like humans do, unless it was made in dumb Twitter land, in which case it just sounds dumb. At the number six spot now, why can't we just nuke the incoming hurricanes to stop them. Well, that is just genius, isn't it? Someone put this guy in charge of hurricane management. For real though, the real reason we can't nuke hurricanes is because hurricanes also have nukes. Yeah, we would just get nuked right back by the hurricanes. At number five now, why do people die when they get killed? <laughs> Oh wow, this is someone who feels very strongly about the subject of death. But they're not asking why do people have to die? What happens after death? Questions a lot of you guys have probably thought before. They're asking why someone who has been killed is dead. Maybe because they were killed? That's just a wild guess from me though. I'll move on. At number four, why do animals get to live in the wild for free, but I have to pay taxes? It's not fair. Hashtag speciesism. Yeah. Animals have been freeloading for too long. How come a beaver can like go and sit in a lake for free, but when I buy a plane ticket, I have to pay tax on it? Those two are totally the exact same thing. How is that fair? If any of you guys have pets, go and ask them after this video when they last did their taxes. They won't give you a proper answer because they know they're tax dodgers. Actually, please don't go and harass your pets about taxes, even as a joke. All right, number three. If the North Pole was real, I bet it would be the most lit place on Earth. It is real. Give it a few years, young one. And then there's a picture of the Earth with the North Pole clearly labeled on it. Guys, seriously, I found a lot of people who thought the North Pole was a completely fictional place. There may even be a few people watching this video who have just had their minds blown. It is real. It looks like this. If you don't believe me, just keep heading north. You'll get there eventually. 
At number two now, I once worked 25 hours in a single day. That's amazing. Have you guys ever worked so hard you just created an extra hour in the day? Yeah, it's totally a real thing. If you work too hard, you'll never actually get to tomorrow. Is my sarcasm getting old at this point? I don't really know how to deal with these in any other way. Sarcasm is saving my mind. What's left of it? And finally, at number one now, we have cheese and fish are vegetables because vegetarians can eat them. I am, um, I'm not really sure what to say about this one. I really hope this person doesn't have kids because those kids will grow up telling people that they eat lots of vegetables. Yeah, vegetables like cheese, bread, chocolate, you know, all the best vegetables. They're probably gonna have a heart attack when they finally see a carrot. Actually, they may have a heart attack before that anyway. All right, that got a little bit dark. I don't wanna end a Dumbest Tweets video on a dark note. Do you wanna end Dumbest Tweets at all though? We've taken a few steps on the hashtag road to 50 now. Let me know if you want hashtag part 43. Also, I just wanna say thank you again to Quid for sponsoring this video. You can find the link to go and download their fantastic app in the description box below. Thanks for watching guys. My name is Danny Burke. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>